Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install these illuminated car door handle bowl ambient light. My name is Greg and on this channel, I will share my passion for DIY car mods, cool car accessories and gadgets, some simple reviews and installs. All right, now let's get to it. So these bowl lights stick on to these car handle covers here. So first thing you want to do is remove this. All right, now that you got that off, there are two screws here that you need to remove and another screw here to remove the door trim. All right, so now that you remove the three screws, you want to grab the inside corner of the door trim and just pop it open. Just like that, once you got it all out, you want to pick it up and pull it out. All right, once you got it out, you just want to unclip the power, the, the harness. Now that you got the door trim out, you just want to unclip the harness that hold them together. There's one, two, and you want to take the door handle off. All right, next, you want to clean the surface of this car door handle cover with alcohol just to make sure there's no grease so that the the light can stick to it. All right, just like that, then we'll let it dry. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the wire through in one of the holes of the door handle. Just like that. So I went ahead and uh, stripped the wire of the original ambient light and connected the door handle light. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder it and put some electrical tape to clean it up. Now I put the door trim back on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the screws back together. So now that I have the screws back on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. All right, and just lock it into place, just like that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the 3M adhesive and stick it on nice and straight. That's how it looks when it's all done. Has a nice mirror finish. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light. And there's your glow. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, continue on to the passenger door. So first, you wanna remove the OEM cover. And then remove the screws. You got two over here on the handle and one down there on the panel itself. All right, next, you just wanna pull out the panel, start with the inside. And next, you want to remove the door handle. And then unclip the harness. And that's the harness you want to unclip. Just like that. So I connected the wire to the existing door ambient light. If you don't have existing ambient light, you can always tap into the power windows. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the screws back on again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean the surface of this with uh, rubbing alcohol and stick the illuminated bowl handle cover to the OEM handle cover. For the rear, you have two screws here and one screw here that you have to remove. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cover. No, 
Right now you want to remove the other cover. All right, same thing. You want to go ahead and pry the door panel out. Then you want to remove the door handle. And you want to remove the harness. That gray harness right over there and the blue one. So I connected to the same blue ambient light, the OEM one. All right, and there it is. Now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, repeat the steps on the other passenger door. All right, there it is. All done, the last passenger door. I had to do it quick because uh, as you can see, it's starting to come down. Just wanna get it all done. We got the right passenger rear. There it is front driver so it does show during the day and uh, it's not too bright these are the door handle bowl cover they have a nice mirror finish you can have your own uh, custom design made or you have the option to select uh, different car makes it's made of uh, acrylic and it's about 0.5 centimeters thick the back of it comes with a 3M tape and you have a long set of wires to connect to your power. So overall, I think the quality is good. It's pretty decent. There you have it. Just finished installing the door handle bowl cover. Um, sorry for the rush job at the end. It started to snow. Uh, we are supposed to get two to four inches, I believe, of snow today and tomorrow. So I just wanted to wrap this video up, make it quick. Overall, I'm satisfied with the quality. I did uh, all four doors uh, just because they have ambient light uh, if I don't have the ambient light to tap into I don't know if I'd be doing all four I'll probably just do the front doors if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll be doing lots more DIY mods just like this and again thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next video